the power of this word can change your effectiveness in prospecting and in conversations and in coaching your team forever. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. What if there was one word that can make everything you do in have leverage everything you do create open-minded or more open-minded prospects what if there was one word that can make your job so much easier more fun enjoyable and not so salesy what if i could reveal that word to you right now and that word you might guess it already is if it's if and you can surround that word if with several uh combinations of uh, questions and, and and phrases, but that word is the key word. Learn how to use it. It sets up a hypothetical question, and all that is is a possibility of something that might occur or could be possible that your prospect may not have considered at all or considered deeply enough or broadly enough, and you can control and bring their imagination to consider it. See, we tend to lean in the direction, our actions tend to be determined by where our imagination goes. Our actions tend to be determined by where our imagination goes. And you can't force me to take new actions unless you can guide my imaginations for my imagination first. You will never be able to force me to make new do new take new just make new decisions and take new actions unless you guide my imagination there first so I can digest it. So it's my decision, not your forcing me to do a new decision because of your logic. If my imagination doesn't go there, my decision will not go there. My action will not go there. So how can we guide the imagination in a productive, positive, and ethical way? It's just bringing up hypothetical questions, usually set up by the word if. See, if you knew that you were going to die tomorrow of a heart attack or stroke, and you'd be rushed to the hospital and raise up bills for your family beyond the final expenses, beyond the paying for the mortgage, beyond sending the children to school, or beyond the needed income that your uh, significant uh, other, your spouse, may need. What would you have done different six months ago, a year ago, two years ago? Would you have bought more life insurance? Would you have taken better care of your health? Would you have exercised? Would you invest a couple hundred dollars a month in supplements if you had full confidence that the that 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 those supplements had studies behind them that showed that they would reduce that chance of that happening by like over ninety or ninety five percent or even greater in some cases. Would you have invested the money? Would you have taken it from somewhere else so you could live years longer in this life? Would you have purchased more life insurance a year ago if you knew it was going to happen to take care of your family? What if you knew that tomorrow your spouse would die? What would you have done different a year ago? Would you have purchased more life insurance? Would you have got them on supplements that can prevent it? Would you encourage them to change their habits and eat better? Would you have investigated information about something that would or could prevent that from happening? You can use this for nearly anything. If you knew your job was going to end tomorrow, would you have taken different actions six months ago, a year ago, 18 months ago to prepare for this day? Would you have worked a business? Would you have been... Would you have looked for a plan B, extra income, to float you while you find the next paycheck, the next career? Or would you have attempted to go full-time and taken your side time more seriously instead of watching sitcoms on TV and reality TV? What if you were to change your reality by building a part-time business or an income stream or a plan B or at least to make the transition easier or pay off some bills and debt? What would you have done different? 
I'm going to leave this to you to consider. But when you say to somebody, Bob, just hypothetical question. If you knew that you were going to die tomorrow, would you, and, and it could have been prevented a year ago, what would you, and there was information that you had that could have prevented that, you would look at it, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, I would look at it. Well, would it be okay if I gave you some information? It might not be for you, but would it be okay if I left you some information or something that's that's really helped me, that's really lowered my blood pressure, that's really made my health much better? I mean, way better than it was. Would it be okay if I gave you some information or some samples of something? Or would you be against the idea? Would you be against the idea? Would you be opposed to me leaving you some information about something that's made a difference in my life? Would you be opposed? That is how you use the hypothetical. You want to combine it with some other other processes that we teach, but the hypothetical question can change the beginnings of your conversation so that people consider what they haven't considered and they become more open-minded to a good, you know, would it be okay if, there's another if, would it be okay if, or uh, the power of no, would you be opposed which keeps resistance down and allows people to make decisions without feeling manipulated. Would you be opposed to taking a look at some information about something? It might not be for you. So you also want to add in the element of the pullback. After you get their imagination, you can pull back. Hey, you know, it might not be for you or it might not be something you might not be interested or, you know, it might not be a fit for you, but would you be opposed to getting some information about something that's really made a difference in my family? No. Now you have set up somebody to take a look at your product or your business or what have you. And that is today's Journey to Freedom episode. Hope you write down some poten potential if questions, hypothetical questions, using the word if, that will allow you to improve your skills. sharing today's 365 days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.